Hey, it's uh, Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. I'm here with Mayor Ramsey of South Jordan, and I just wanted to personally endorse her effort to work shoulder to shoulder with the good people of South Jordan to better exemplify all that goes into good, hard, and meaningful work. Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs and Mayor Ramsey. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey everyone, it's Mayor Ramsey. Welcome to our first episode of City Jobs. I'm excited. Today we're going to get to go out and meet with Mike and Kevin and learn about what it really takes to protect our roads when we have a storm coming. There's a brining process. I get to ride along with the snow plows, but I'm excited to get to show this to you. There's a lot of great work taking place here in the city. We have an amazing staff and there's so much to this that I think most of us are not aware of. So thank you for joining me on my ride along today with our public works department. We hope you enjoy this video. I'm Don Ramsey. Kevin Tate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, I heard recently that our city does something that other cities don't do. It's a new thing. You guys have come up with a grind solution that you make here in-house. That's correct. To treat our roads before a storm to try to protect the roads. It does protect the roads. Is that? That's, that's right, yeah. So, uh, before, a, before a snowstorm, if it's not going to rain, we usually do what's called an anti-icing operation. And basically what that is, is we go out and we put a salt brine on the road. The water evaporates out of that brine and the salt stays on the road, leaving a film on the road that the snow and the ice won't adhere to the road. It breaks that bond up. So when we come by with the snow plow, we're cleaning right down to the pavement and then retreating the road with salt. So you brought me to the big salt pile, which really is quite impressive. This goes into the brine, but I really don't know what the process is. Will you tell me more about how it's made and sure. what it is that you've come up with? Yeah, so the, the brine, 23% of a gallon is going to be made up of this salt here. And it's simply just put into water. The water percolates through the salt. Um, at that point, it's what's called fully saturated, which means the a gallon of water won't take on any more salt. So it's at 26%. That um, saturated brine dumps over and we dilute it down with fresh water on the other side of the brine maker uh, putting it at 23 percent. Okay. How many gallons of that do you make at a time? Is there even a guess? Do you know? Um, we go through about 12 to 15,000 gallons before a storm just to treat the city. And then during the, the storm we're spraying brine on salt. We go through about anywhere from 500 to 1500 gallons. Wow. or the order, is there a priority rating system or anything that you figure out, or if you just start at one end and work your way to the other? There is. So usually we'll start with the um, higher, like higher traffic roads, uh, roads around school areas, roads around hospital areas, and focus on them. Um, obviously if there's more cars like on 114 South, there's more potential for people to get into a collision. So we focus on those until they're um, cleared off. And then we start working our way, what we call through drive-throughs in the neighborhood. So like the roads that kind of just go through the whole neighborhood. And then we just work our way down to like lower volume roads, cul-de-sacs, things like that. Yeah. So this here is a, a one ton uh, snowplow truck. We have uh, between one tons and pickups. We have 14 of those that we deploy when it starts to snow. They are primarily used on neighborhood roads and cul-de-sacs. When it starts to snow, we also deploy nine large trucks. We have three bobtails and six 10-wheelers. Uh, three of those 10-wheelers are equipped with a wing plow. 
what that does is instead of just clearing uh, between 12, 10 to 12 feet at a time with the front plow, we're actually able to reach out into the other lane and grab about eight more feet of roadway. Okay, so I know. we're off, I guess. I know. Well, thanks. No problem. You tell me if you're too hot or too cold or I whatever. I appreciate it. I'm good. Okay. We usually run the heater a lot because the windows get all iced up oh, and I stuff. Bet. So yeah. So I'm just lowering my wing now so we can off to that right side. Wow. So, so tell me how long you've been doing this. I am almost ten years. In April it'll be ten years wow. for me. So have you been with South Jordan the whole time? Yes. That's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate I, that. I've been in the streets department the whole time too. So oh, yeah? yeah, you if you look out the mirror you see how far that wing actually sticks. Yeah. It's, it's you, you, you definitely gotta compensate for that too. Yeah. You always have to just constantly be checking your mirrors and stuff because Oh I bet. Everybody just kinda it actually kind of surprises me that that truck, that car would go past you on the left like that. Oh yeah. When you're here to turn you, around, that's You weird. see when I get this wing down, people want to go around that side wow. too, so. Wow. That person. That's, that's the scary part when you got a car on the right that doesn't know you got something sticking clear out. Right. They're right on your left and you got to make that pass maneuver. That's amazing. You're very good at it. So. <laughs> It, it can't be easy going down the street when you've got cars parked down both sides. It's, yeah, it's very hard. You just have to watch it. There's some spots that you physically go down and go around the bend and you basically get bottlenose and these big trucks can't fit. So you, you really have to just kind of know your routes and stuff like that. And then just, sure. well, that's why we got the little trucks. They tend to focus a lot more on the neighborhoods and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And with, with plowing, you want to focus on the center of the road. Most roads are kind of crowned like this, and when it rains, the water goes down to the gutters and all that. It's the same with when you snow plow, you want to focus on the center of the road. That's why he's on the left, uh -huh. and then we're right. All the other trucks that are working solo on roads, that's what they do, just down the center, and then they just stagger, and you just work your way towards the curb. Wow. And you might question well, why is he doing the middle of the road but when you're if if you leave any of that and the day temperature rises and the sun goes down that all melts and then freezes, freezes right across the road and you don't want wow. your road to be complete sheet of ice again so no, that that makes perfect sense and i think it's the kind of thing that most of us have no idea we don't know that i didn't know that roads had came to a crown yeah, often they, it, it's not something that you can really see as a, as a driver driving down them. Yeah. It doesn't look like that's the case, but that makes perfect sense. Again, there's a science to this, a oh. lot of science behind this, and it's impressive. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, so I'll, something a little bit more about us. So when the storm or whatever is supposed to be going for a couple of days, uh -huh. we. Uh, we do have a day and a night shift, and we, we run 12-hour shifts when the storms are like that. Wow. So wow. we usually start from 7 in the morning to 7 at night, and then the opposite shift comes in. Wow. We've, we've done that, I think, to help with the service of the residents and just better to get on the snowstorm at the start. Yeah. Than it is when it gets really compacted down into the road and stuff like that. It's really hard to remove it. It takes a lot sure. more effort and salt and material and stuff to break that up once it gets compacted. So That makes sense. I'm amazed at how much better the roads look right now than they even did an hour ago. You guys have been going over this and working <laughs> hard and putting everything down. It's making a huge difference. This is no small task. It's still snowing. There's still a lot of cars on the road. and. You're doing a great job. This really, it's amazing to me the difference already. Yeah. Huh. 
De definitely rewarding when the snowstorm finally stops and you can actually start to clear it and it actually really starts to kind of go away and go to the side of the road and stuff like that. Yeah, but I bet. I mean, I, I recognize that as residents, it's not easy to drive down our roads on a morning like today. But <laughs> you have no small task. It's not easy for you to get down these roads either. I, in fact, I'm, I'm sure it's harder for you than it is for a regular car. The, the rush hour commutes always get interesting too with sure. school and people going to work and stuff yeah. like that. That always makes it a lot more congested. Sometimes that seems like we're not out, but we're out also. We're just stuck with everybody else, kind of going a slow and steady flow down the road. so impressed with the efforts of our Public Works employees and I'm truly grateful for the great work they do every day to serve our residents.